What's up guys, it's Meg. Welcome back to Meg After Dark. Today we're talking about the latest episode of The Walking Dead. We're discussing season eight, episode five, called The Big Scary You. Uh, what did you guys think of that episode last night? Uh, it was pretty crazy, wasn't it? Uh, first off, before we get started, because I know some motherfucker out there is gonna say it, this is not a hickey. It is a scratch from this dog. I have five dogs, okay? <laughs> it's a scratch, it's not a hickey. Here, look, get real close. It's a red mark. Look, in fact, if I go like this, in about five minutes, I'm gonna have a red mark there, okay? Less than five minutes, look. <laughs> okay, end rant. The only reason I even brought that up is because I know some idiot out there is gonna fucking say it, and it's gonna piss me off, okay? So anyways, this is my dog, Jasper. <laughs> Uh, Jasper, say hi. Oh, oh, oh. Say hi. Look. He doesn't want to say hi. He's just going to sit on my lap. Okay. Let's get started talking about this episode. All right. We have two big things that I want to talk about. One is Gabriel and whether or not he was big. Because I was kind of freaking out. And now I kind of have a theory that uh, I have in my head that I've heard some people talk about. So I'm hoping that that's what it is. Secondly, the helicopter. Where the fuck did that thing come from? I don't know. Uh, and then we, we have some other things to talk about as well, but that's probably gonna be the biggest topic of our, of our uh, video today. So uh, what are your theories on Gabriel here? So when I watched the episode last night, I thought at the end that I, I couldn't even fathom that Gabriel had been bit to be honest. It was like not even in my mental capacity here <laughs> to like figure out how, no, I can figure out how, but figure out like why they would make it so that he had been bit, okay? Because storyline wise, it just doesn't make sense here. And I know we're in the like apocalypse thing here, uh, end of the world, they're zombies <laughs> and people can die every day, <laughs> but it just doesn't feel right for the story, especially after everything that we saw in the episode. So backtracking a little bit, the episode starts out with Gabriel praying for, he's praying back in his church, um, praying for a fruitful death. So that his death might mean something that if he dies, that if it comes down to it and he is killed or, um, you know, somehow gets bit or something that it would mean something that he would have done something good first. Um, so he's praying for that. And then we have this whole scene, most of the episode where he is in this trailer with Negan. And I love that we got to hear a little bit of Negan's past, which we will just very brief, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But, um, I liked how the episode starts off with him basically talking about death, that if he would die, that it would be fruitful, that it would mean something. That's kind of what I took from it. And then we ended the episode thinking that he was dying. It looks like he's been bit. Now, my reasonings for this that I immediately thought, like I, I was like not expecting Eugene to open it and see uh, Gabriel sick and appears. I mean, that's what people look like when they've been bit. Okay, we didn't actually see a wound or anything. But uh, in my mind, my first thought was that he was faking, to be honest. Like I, I was shocked and then I was like, no, he's gotta be faking. Um, and here's why we already heard the the setup for for this fake out we already heard earlier when all of the workers in the sanctuary came upstairs where they're not supposed to come and they were complaining that it was very hot that they had turned off all of the electricity whatever generators that they had been using because and it, therefore it made it very hot on those lower levels there um and the workers were complaining about it and that I feel like is a setup, not only for the descent among the workers there, uh, pitting them against the saviors, but uh, because that didn't really go anywhere, but it's setting it up for, uh, you can imagine how hot it is in one of those cells. Um, there's no windows in there. It's just like a hot box. You know, it's a room with walls and no windows or anything. Um, so there's no airflow if they turn off, um, uh, the cooling system if they turn off the generator. So it's gonna be very hot in there. And he's already was sweating up a storm from like, you know, you're exhausted from battling walkers. You just nearly died. Um, and you come in there and you're in like this hot box and it looks like it would make you look like you are sweating. And he could easily act 
sick in that moment. And the kind of other clue that kind of leads me to believe that he's doing a fake out here is that he brings up Dr. Carson and he says like, we need to save him, Maggie's doctor, Dr. Carson from the hilltop. And he says this to Eugene. And I honestly, I think it's a ploy to get Eugene to go get Dr. Carson so that Gabriel uh, can try and save him, can try and do something good. You know, he's captured there. Uh, they saw Sasha and what came of her when she was captured um, and she died and uh, came out as a walker. And so I think that Gabriel, if he assumes that being prisoner there means his eventual death, I honestly think that he's probably faking to try and get the doctor and save him potentially or try to do something or you know try to pull eugene in on this and try and get the doctor either way i'm not sure how that's gonna work out because i don't really know what side eugene resides on now i don't know if it if it came down to it uh which side he would pick um in that moment it sure seems like he is straight with the saviors here um Let's talk about the helicopter real fast, just because I want to talk about more of the saviors in the sanctuary and the helicopter thing is like weighing on my mind. Rick and Daryl part ways um, to continue on with their plan, okay? Obviously from commercials from next episode, Daryl is still wanting to go against Rick's plan. He's uh, bringing in Tara, who also sort of, she's in that, that stage right now where she could easily go against Rick's plan if she thought it meant killing Negan. Um, so Rick goes on, he's walking back, he uh, looks, he hears something and he looks up and there is a freaking helicopter and it's flying fairly low there. Uh, and in that moment I was like, what the fuck? A helicopter, like we are so far into the apocalypse at this point. Like the world has ended, the modern day world has ended. There should not be any helicopters. There are so few people I think left in this world. Um, there, there shouldn't be helicopters flying around, you know? It, it's a crazy sight. And we saw a helicopter back in what season, what was that? Season three, um, where the governor, was it? No, it wasn't the governor. I don't know, there was, there was a helicopter, remember? And it crashed and Michonne was there and it was the governor's people that killed, right? That killed the helicopter pilots. God, it's been a long time since I watched that. Um, back then it made sense because we were still not very far into the world's coming, you know, our modern day world is coming to an end here, um, where it still made sense that there would be fuel and a pilot because a helicopter, like, there's not a ton of people. Like, if the world, if it's apocalypse and zombies have eaten the majority of the population, people have turned into walkers, there's not gonna be a lot of helicopter pilots left. That's just not a skill that's like an everyday thing. So I just find it so unbelievable that this far in, um, this many years later, that there is a helicopter and there's a pilot and who does it belong to? So I, I think in that moment, I don't think it's Negan's helicopter, to be honest. I think that he would have uh, waved that around at some point sooner than now, um, or would have talked about it or something, because he's so damn cocky, you know? I just feel like it would have been mentioned. Um, I honestly am thinking that it might be something to do with the garbage people. That, or it is a completely different group that we haven't seen yet, or something else, like, I don't know. So um, two thoughts here. One was because it was Rick and he sees the helicopter and then it pans to a garbage person uh, watching him. That kind of makes me feel like it kind of ties into that a little bit. We know that Rick's on his way uh, based off of the next commercial that Rick is on his way to meet with Jadis. I honestly don't think that's gonna go very well for him. He's definitely gonna get put in uh, uh, that that what we saw from the Comic-Con trailer in one of the storage containers. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna go. But uh, that was my first thought was that maybe it's the garbage people or something, they have a helicopter. I don't know, it doesn't even make sense to me. It really doesn't make sense. And then I thought, well, the last time we saw a helicopter, we saw one in fear recently, and albeit it crashed, but I don't know. I, I just, it, it seems so odd to bring a helicopter in at this point. It just seems so out of the story, like out of touch from the story. It's weird. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. No spoilers, please. I don't want any spoilers on this channel, but if you have thoughts on it, let me know. Um, moving back to 
the sanctuary, uh, we have Dwight here, and we know that Dwight is uh, the guy on the inside that's making this all happen. Uh, Simon and Negan and everyone, they need to figure out who it is. Now, I didn't get, in my reaction video, I did not understand at first, so we had Eugene visit Dwight um, in Dwight's room. And we know that Dwight painted those figures and we saw Eugene get the red paint on his thumb because they were still wet. I did not understand, and this is just to clarify those people who think like, why don't you understand that? I did not realize that the bag on the table um, when Negan was meeting with everyone and they they pulled the guns, uh, that I didn't realize that Dwight had gone and given guns to like people. It that that makes no sense to me. I know that he's trying to protect these workers who are innocent and who are on the front lines and who would be the first ones to be killed if the walkers actually got inside, but it was a really poor move, um, I think, for Dwight to have given the guns because it gives away his position way more quickly, I feel like. So I didn't realize that the bag that was on the table was also found with the guns. Um, and so we know that Eugene has put two and two together here. He had the red paint on his thumb and he's speaking Dwight and then he sees red paint on the bag. So that makes a lot of sense. Now I get it. The big question is, Eugene did not reveal Dwight right away. He looked at Dwight and he knew when he understood, but he did not reveal Dwight. And then it moves on to the next time we see Eugene, we see him with uh, Gabriel. And I think it's coming down to, we are gonna know very quickly here which side Gabriel is on. Um, if Gabriel goes and gets Dr. Carson and the walkers actually get inside the rest of the way, um, will Eugene save Dr. Carson, save Gabriel and go back to um, Alexandria or will he go to Negan now with this knowledge that he has um, knowing that Negan will kill him if he doesn't fix this is a big part here too because Eugene is all about himself he is selfish and he is all about um, self-preservation here and which side he can be on that will make him the comfiest and um, will let him survive and Negan gave him I'm going on a tangent here sorry <laughs> but Negan gave him an ultimatum and he said um, you know I will reward you greatly if you figure out this problem with the walkers outside. Uh, and even if you try your hardest, I'll just give you a quick death. So Eugene knows that if he doesn't figure this shit out, he's gonna die. Um, so that could influence his decision on whether or not to tell on Dwight or to go with Dwight, and, you know, or not necessarily go with Dwight, but you know, try and figure this out a different way and go with Gabriel. Um, Dr. Carson, something like this. You know, there's two choices here for him at this point, um, and it will be interesting to see where he goes from here. And this review is already extremely long. I am so sorry. Um, I liked that we got to see a look. It didn't pick up right where we left off. I liked that we kind of got to backtrack a little bit to see what was going on on the inside of the sanctuary um, before Rick attacked okay so before Rick shows up with the group and attacks I thought that was awesome I it is so rare in the show and I love it um, but it is so rare in this show that we get to see the alternate side of the same situation so we got to see exactly what went on outside with Rick and um, and <coughs> Maggie and Jesus and all of them we got to see all of that and then a few uh, episodes later now, we get to see the inside and what was being discussed at the table uh, on the inside before um, before this all happened. And then we got to see kind of how they were dealing with it once it happened. And I love that. It's, it's so cool and we just don't get that that often. Um, and I, I really love because the sanctuary in the sanctuary with the saviors they've always been the enemy here and it's kind of nice to get to know these characters like Dwight you know we know that Dwight has turned sides but we don't know we don't get to really see him interact too much on the inside and we don't get to see how he's playing both sides so I thought that was really cool I also thought it was really cool that you know when he goes for a smoke break that was actually when he was outside and um, right before Rick showed up so I thought that was really neat as well okay I want to just go back to um, Negan real fast in the trailer with Gabe um, we got two pieces of the here's Negan comic story line here um, one we found out that he worked with kids um, and two we found out that his weakness and something he regrets 
greatly is that once his wife died, well, he cheated on his wife, once his wife died, um, he did not have the guts to put her down and he let her live kind of on as a walker and left her there and he regrets that greatly. Um, and that was really awesome to get to see a weak moment in Negan because we never see that. We never see Negan let his guard down. And he did very briefly there for a moment and we got to see it and I loved that. It was so awesome to see that side of Negan. I love that Gabe was the one to pull that out of him. Um, I love the dynamic between the two uh, with Gabe and Negan. I thought it was so interesting to see these two completely opposite people uh, kind of relate to each other in a way and work together. Um, completely different sides here, enemies of one another. Um, although I'm sure Negan doesn't think Gabe is an enemy, um, but Gabe put up a pretty good fight. Like when he whipped that gun out um, of Negan, out from Negan's pants behind him and like that was pretty cool. Like he did good there. Um, he was bold, he was doing something and I liked that a lot. Um, the gut scene is so funny. Um, I just was not expecting to see Negan put those guts all over him. I thought that was awesome. Um, and all in all, um, you know, we're kind of left hanging. We start out the episode with Gabe talking about uh, dying and dying with a purpose and dying um, for a reason and having his death meaning something. And then we end the episode not knowing, well, thinking, we end the episode thinking that he is indeed dying. Um, but I, I, I think he's faking, I really do. Um, at least I'm hoping for it because I feel like it would not benefit the storyline for him to be bit now or to die. It just doesn't make sense to me. And I think that, I think that this would be a good thing if he was faking in order to save uh, Dr. Carson there. So that is it for this very long reveal. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite part was in the comments. Let me know what your theories are for the helicopter and for Gabe and will Rick succeed in next episode meeting with Jadis? <coughs> Uh, what is gonna happen to Dwight and Eugene? Is Eugene gonna tell on Dwight? I would love to know your opinions on all of this in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next Sunday with another reaction video. Have a great night. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>